Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have placed fields into the report design view, you may need to change their position and size within the report. Before you can make any editing changes to a field, however, you need to first select it. You can click on a field to select it. When a field is selected, it will appear with a blue border around it in the report design view. You will also see four small squares appear around the perimeter of the object, one on each side of the field. These are called the resizing handles, and you use these to change the height and width of the data field. If you need to deselect a field that you have selected, you can click into the empty space within a report section to deselect the currently selected object or objects. You can also select multiple objects simultaneously within a report. When you have multiple objects selected within a report, Whatever action you then take is applied to all of the selected objects. This can be a useful way to delete several report data fields at once versus deleting each one independently. You can also use it to apply a formatting style, like bolding, to several simultaneously selected fields. To select multiple fields at the same time, click the first field which you would like to select. Then hold down either the Shift or Control key on your keyboard while you continue to click on the other fields that you would also like to simultaneously select. Then you can release the key on your keyboard that you are holding down when you finished making your selections. Another method of selecting multiple adjacent, meaning next to each other, objects within the report design view is to use a selection marquee. Hold your mouse pointer over the blank area within the section of the report where the fields that you want to select are located. Then click and drag your mouse pointer, noticing the selection marquee that you create as you continue to click and drag. Simply continue to click and drag the marquee through any fields that you want to select. Any fields that are touched or enclosed by the selection marquee that you draw will become selected when you finally release your mouse pointer. You may also easily move the selected fields that you've placed into your report. Simply place your mouse pointer over any selected field or fields in the report design view. When you see a four-pointed arrow appear as your mouse pointer, click and drag to move the selected fields and then release them in another area of the report. You can also just select the fields and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the fields up, down, left, or right. You can also use the guidelines that appear in the ruler at the top of the report design view to move fields to the left and right. Using this method ensures that both the title and the associated data appear with the same alignment in the same column. Remember that when you insert a new field into the Details section of a report, Crystal Reports will automatically create a label for that data which it places into the Page Header section. Notice when it does this, it will also place a small guideline marker into the ruler for that field. The marker looks like a small home plate from baseball. If you're familiar with Microsoft Word, you may think it looks like the first line indent character. You may click and drag this guideline, left and right, on the ruler to move both the data field and the label in tandem. However, it is important to note that when you manually click and drag on a field to move it, you then break it away from the aligning guideline. Therefore, using the guideline will not affect the field that you moved by hand after that. You'll see a small red indicator at the left side of any field that is aligned to a guideline. You can reassociate a field with a guideline by manually moving the left edge of the field onto the guideline. 
When you place it into the correct position and then release your mouse button, you will see the red indicator appear at the left side of the object if you dropped it into the correct position. You can then use the guideline to move the field. You may also add and remove the guidelines freely in the report design view. To add a guideline, simply click into the ruler at the position where you want to place a guideline. To remove a guideline, click and drag the guideline from the ruler and release it into the Report Design section. To resize a data field, first select the field or fields that need to be resized. Then place your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which you want to resize the selected field or fields. When your mouse pointer is in the correct location, it will appear as a double pointed arrow. You may click and drag at that point to resize the selected fields. You can make them thinner, wider, shorter, or taller. You may also resize fields using your keyboard. To do this, select the fields to resize, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then press the arrow keys on your keyboard to resize the selected fields. It's also important to note that if you simply resize the data field, the field label will also be resized to the same dimensions. However, resizing the label will not reciprocally resize the associated data field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.